Good morning everybody and welcome to the first episode of my fifth floor life. Uh, just a little project that I wanted to work on. Um, an outlet for creativity and also the life of a foreigner in Taiwan. Um, so today I'm going to kick it off with um, a banana bread. It's my mom's recipe. Uh, actually, I have it um, in her writing, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going on a three-day island trip. Uh, sometimes in Taiwan, an island trip is a rite of passage, and it's called a huandao, uh, which means to go around something. So I will be doing a three-day trip to the east coast, and then over the um, the central mountain range. Uh, and what else do you want in a car than some snacks? So I'm gonna cook or I'm gonna bake um, my mom's banana bread today and uh, I'm gonna take you through it. So obviously we've got our regular ingredients and as I use them, I'm gonna just tell you about them and um, we're gonna go from there. So okay. I've I'll got right 100 there. grams of unsalted um, butter that I left out overnight so that it was soft because really nobody wants to be trying to mix um, butter straight from the fridge um, because that's just gonna make your life really difficult and then I'm going to add a cup of sugar because well just because I've made this recipe before with um, less like half a cup um, I've done that before because sometimes the Taiwanese people think that our desserts and our puddings are too sweet so I have made it before with half and that also works out pretty well so what you want to do now is um, cream the butter and the sugar together until it's nice and smooth. Uh, this sugar is particularly, uh, the granules are particularly thick, so I want to try and get them a bit smaller and nicely mixed in with the butter. Okay, so we did a, a, a quick blend. Uh, now I'm going to add an egg. Um, I also like to keep my eggs at room temperature. Um, some people like to refrigerate their eggs and I don't particularly but I also eat eggs every day so um, there's no sort of uh, worry about them uh, going rotten or anything. Uh, I watched a prepper show once where the lady coated her eggs in oil um, to stop the air coming into contact because an eggshell is uh, permeable so the lady coated them in oil and she was eating eggs years after she bought them because the oil protected them. Uh, I've personally never tried that and I probably never will. Um, but if you're into keeping eggs for a couple of years, then maybe that's something you can try. So I'm going to blend up this uh, single egg with the butter and the sugar. Um, and then we will add the bananas and the flour and uh, yeah that's how magic happens so banana bread became really popular in our house when I was growing up because uh, me in particular I don't like my bananas <laughs> when they taste like bananas um, because I find that the older a banana gets the stronger the flavor gets and I didn't like that so um, unless it was perfectly yellow and um, very fresh, I would never eat a banana. Uh, so we always had bananas left over around our house um, and hence banana bread became quite popular because the bananas need to get to a pretty inedible stage. Uh, as you can see, um, these ones are black and which is perfect for a banana bread because they need to be soft uh, so you can blend them up uh, into this banana mush uh, and that's what I'm about to do now I've got uh, four or five bananas my mom's recipe calls for four to six 
um, but uh, yeah I've put more in before um, I buy bananas as I need them so uh, sometimes I don't need them so I'm got a stack of leftovers so we're gonna blend up these bananas separately from the butter and the sugar and uh, then we'll add the two together so now I've got my banana mix and I've got my butter and my sugar with one egg mix um, so I'm gonna add the two I always read over my mom's recipe because sometimes she um, you know, it doesn't matter how many times I've done the recipe. I think I just, I really like reading it. Um, she writes little notes for me, like uh, when you add the butter and uh, the banana mix together, it's going to be sloppy. So, um, you know, don't panic. Uh, it's supposed to be like that. So. Um, here we have the butter, the sugar, and the banana mix. Um, and we are now going to add, let me just put that aside, two cups. Let me get everything together. Uh, two cups of plain flour. Um, I suppose. Um, I don't know much about flour. Uh, I don't know any substitutes for plain flour uh, if you want something gluten-free. Um, anyway, so we're going to try and add two cups of flour without having it blow anywhere. Because um, I like to do my cooking in front of my window uh, and the wind is sort of blowing today so um, I might end up with uh, flour in places uh, I don't want to be cleaning flour from like my floor or three French Bulldogs okay so oh and my shirt so that's two cups of plain flour I'm gonna grab my beater again I'm gonna give that a little just to Get the floof out of the way. Um, okay, so there we go. That was a quick blend. Uh, two cups of flour. Uh, now I'm gonna grab my little ingredients and um, we're gonna add those as well and keep on mixing. So uh, we have baking powder. Um, <clears throat> Oh, it's also blowing everywhere. So, I need a heap, heaped teaspoon of baking powder. Let me put that down before it also blows all over the place. I need a level teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. My mom's so cute. Uh, she also writes on the recipe. If you don't put bicarbonate of soda, soda, you will just have a very dull looking banana bread um, because the bicarb is what gives it the color. So also a... Now I don't drink milk, not for any particular reason other than I just don't drink milk. So um, if I do any baking, I've got to go and buy Especially. So these tiny little bottles really do help. Uh, quarter cup of milk. That goes in there. And as soon as I find it somewhere, a pinch of salt. Goodness knows why. Um, I think it's to balance out something. I don't know. If mom says your recipe needs milk, uh, if your recipe needs salt, you just listen to mom because mom knows and I think it doesn't matter how many times I make this recipe I always read her instructions and follow them and go back and every step I read it again and so all right so that's mixed up well and what I'm gonna do is because I'm traveling I'm gonna make these little use these little loaf tins um, just because 
obviously with bread as you're cutting it it dries out so these are just gonna be easy um, and uh, easy to drive with I'm gonna actually what I'm gonna do is cut the banana bread into like little cubes and little snack bite size okay so uh, I need to um, put a bit of butter on these and uh, then we're good to go you want to take your mix and you only want to fill about doesn't matter what you're using um, if you're using a cake tin, a round tin, a loaf tin, a muffin tin, whatever, um, you only want to fill it about halfway because obviously the banana bread will rise. So uh, I'm going to finish the rest. I don't know how many. Uh, I don't know how many this is going to make. Uh, I might end up taking some to work um, because. Yeah, it looks like this. So what we ended up with was four of these mini loaves. Um, I'm gonna put them into the oven at 180 degrees. Now, my mom's recipe does mention about an hour and a half, uh, but that is also for one of those regular sized loaf tins. So what I do is I put it in the oven and I'll come back after about 45 minutes to an hour and do the knife test um, put the knife into the cake if it comes out clean your cake is cooked if not uh, you know if there's a bit of a um, bit of the mix on the knife then you need to leave it a little bit longer so I'm gonna pop these into the oven and then I will be back to show you the finished and delicious product hey everybody Check so it's later. been about Bye. 45 minutes to an hour and um, so here is our final product and as you can see if I put the knife into the cake uh, it comes out clean I'm just gonna pop this one out so you can have a look at it and there you go four really easy mini loaves of mom's banana bread um, I'm going to put the recipe down in the um, in the description. Usually what I do with these is when they become this kind of golden brown color is when I'll do the first check um, because it's often not far from there. If your oven is too hot, then yeah, it's not gonna work. But um, yeah, so there we go. Mom's banana bread from my fifth floor apartment. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.